Hello YouTube, it is I, Count Sarah Wolf coming at you with another Minecraft video. Today we are playing the Omega Pack, and as you as you can see, some things have changed. I'm no longer that small little wolf. Now I'm a big burly wolf. I'm just joking. I have on dark armor, and if you're wondering how I've gotten that, it's a very simple recipe. It is, if I can actually, recipe. Using dark steel. To get dark steel, you need to smelt obsidian, pulverized coal, and iron. Which I did on the last episode. Not the last episode. I smelted a little bit on the last episode. This episode is actually the third attempt at recording this particular episode. Because my recording is a poo butt. In but uh, we'll say it's a point five. What's it? We'll say in the point five bit. Took out the door because I realized no mobs are going to spawn, so these guys should be fine. But now they're wandering around all over my stuff. I've made the pulverizer, which to make a pulverizer, fairly simple. Just takes a little bit of resources. Pulver. Pulverizer. To make is copper gear, redstone reception coil, machine frame, which is only four glass, tin gear, and four iron. To make a tin gear, you need four tin around a piece of iron. To make the reception coil, you need two pieces of redstone and a piece of gold. And then, same recipe for copper gear, just around one piece of, uh, piece of iron. So today, I'm going to take us on a journey to go get a little bit of coal first. Mainly because I have no more. I don't think I have vein miner. I think I have vein miner. Let's see. Do I have vein miner? Yes, I do. I have vein miner. That makes everything... Oh! Um, that chunk didn't load in. I can see all of nice pretty ore, <laughs> but I'm good. I do not want to crash. Let's see. Oh, I remember here. This was from a few episodes ago. Let's see. Bam. There we go. And the only piece that survived was the pulverist. Getting a lot of levels, too. I think I used levels to... Yeah, I'm going to use levels to put on what are known as vibrant crystals onto my armor to power them. To make a vibrant crystal, you are going to need an emerald or a pale gem wrapped around vibrant alloy nuggets. To be wrapped around that... One moment. I forgot the music wasn't playing. <sighs> wow. Today is just going great for recording. But anyway, to get a vibrant alloy, you are going to need to use an ender pearl and an energetic alloy in a s alloy smelter. To get an energetic alloy, I know this is rambling, is redstone and glowstone with a piece of gold. Which would be nice, but I have no way of getting to the nether yet. Unless I go and I start mining all of that nice obsidian down below which I should be doing off camera because this is supposed to be an adventure not just me mining everything also if, uh, I forgot to show the basic capacitor rings how silly of me so to make a basic capacitor bank all you have to do is surround have four pieces of iron one piece, one block of redstone, and four basic capacitors. To make a basic capacitor, it is a copper ingot with two pieces of redstone at the end, and then four gold nuggets or ore berries. And that is how you get basic capacitors. And that, then you use all that to make a basic capacitor bank, which holds up to a million RF. But as you saw, I made two, so I can hold up to two million RF which is very useful. And I see a piece of cinnabar. 
Cinnabar is very going to be very useful because I'm going to need make rich slag later on. And that is going to be a long, complicated process because I need certain materials. Now, let us go back to the village because I need to put coal in here. And I actually have a stack of coal, so I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to put some... We're going to put a stack in... We're going to put half a stack. A quarter of a stack in there. So we can start pushing out RF. If I can see how much this is making. This is actually making less. This is only making five. That's not good. Well, it's good, but it's not what I needed. So... As you saw, I made a, a survivalist generator, if I can spell it. A survivalist generator. To make a survivalist generator, you're going to need three pieces of cobble, one piston, one furnace, two pieces of iron, and two pieces of redstone. And that is how you get the ah, survivalist generator. Wow, I had it and then I lost it. Alright, so... To get this finished off, for right now, we're going to go and we're going to get a couple pieces of obsidian. Also, if you guys have noticed, I don't think I mentioned this in the last episode. Um, I added a bunch of redstone to my pickaxe to give it haste. So we are mining a little bit faster, but we're still losing all of it because the lava below. Should have brought some water. And I know I can grab that source block behind me, but that's. I'm gonna have to do that, I guess. Nope. Ow. Ow. Shouldn't have jumped in the lava. I was kind of hesitant on grabbing the source block just because I wanted, in case later on I needed water. No! No! Oh, I broke the source block. Well, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be doing that. Let's see if I can just mine under here. I'm actually gonna need more obsidian anyway because I need to fix my pickaxe. Okay. Okay. Let's try and get some that won't burn up, please. Just, just hover over it, hover over it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, we need more. We need. We're gonna need at least 10 pieces for now, just so that we can have the helmet, the dark helm, and I can actually have a little bit to repair this pickaxe. Because the, the pickaxes in Tinkers require the material that was used to make the pickaxe head. So if you used iron, you're gonna need to use iron to make or to repair your pickaxe. And you know what, I'm going to make it just seven pieces. Don't want to make this too long of just mining. There we go. And bam. Okay, let's go back. Back to the village. Okay, they're no longer on my stuff either. Which is good, because I don't like them on my stuff. I save you guys and everything. You know, I put a wall around. Are you able to go that? Okay, spiders can get in still, but... Either way, I fixed your your dilemma. You guys should be thanking me. Where is it? One, two. Put you there. And I think I have iron in here. Yes, I do. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if my recording will continue to work properly, that would be great. I'd appreciate it a lot. There we go. For some reason, it's place... Oh, no. For some, I was going to say, for some reason it's placing the coal in there without me asking it to. But I remember that actually that was the last bit I had bef um, before my rec I noticed my recording was messed up. So now, what we can do is if it's this version, I can just... Nope. Not on the crafting table. You should... There's a version of Tinkers that you can actually just put this in your little crafting grid and you can repair it like that but it seems this one I need to actually go to a part builder and fix it. Would you guys get away from my house? You guys have plenty of houses I take one and you automatically 
just want my house. That's not fair, guys. There we go. Completely repaired. And I did make an iron door to try and stop the villagers and keep them inside, but that didn't exactly work. I still on the aluminum berries. Can I throw in a bush? I can throw in a bush. That's... I can throw in a bush, guys, and it'll be fine. I think I can throw in the cinnabar? Let me see. What happens if I do cinnabar? What happens if I use uses? If I do that, I get quicksilver. What is the use for quicksilver? I thought... Wait, what? Mirrored glass. That's it? What happens if I use it for drops? I thought you get cinnabar from this. Okay. That's a little weird. Wait, what are you? Oh yeah, you're the aluminum. I'm like, why does that look all pink? Okay, and pork chop time. Nom 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 nom. Plenty of nice pork chops. I need to go food hunting. Oop, you're gonna need more water. Ah. I'm going everywhere. I'm going this way and that way. Okay, so we got two more pieces, and my frames are just dropping. Okay, one second, guys. Let me see something. Um, I hope my recording is going correctly, because I keep getting more fi AVI files than I need to. Fraps is being weird today. <gasps> Piggy! Piggy, how did you get in here? I actually should put grass in here, so mobs will spawn. Do I? I think I need a silky jewel for that. A silky jewel is something you apply onto your shovel. So that way you can... Yeah, I just need string. Can I break down string? Can I break down wool into string? Using my crafting grid? Or do I have to... Wait... Oh, come on. You're all connected. You should have been able to just vein mine that. So if I do this, do I get my string back? No. What happens if I put in a pulverizer? Can I put in a pulverizer? That would help out a lot. Watch out, buddy. Get out of my way, man. Why are you in my way? Yeah, okay, it's pulverizing it, and it's giving me back string. So, if I'm, I'm gonna need 32 string, because it's 8 around 1 nugget. And so if each one of these gives me 4, 2 makes 8, I'm gonna need 16? No, I only need 8 pieces of wool, so I have 5 there. So I'm gonna have to take the wool from over here as well, and I'm gonna have to use that to get all my string. Then I can make a silky jewel. I think I have modifiers on this. Yeah, I can put a modifier on this. And I can use this to get grass blocks. These grass blocks here. I can grab some of the grass blocks and I can make a nice little pasture area. Put some fence and I can have animals that will start spawning. Okay. So, do that, do that. Also, between episodes, and the first and second time I heard recording, I made what are known as augments. So, the recipe for that is bronze around a redstone reception coil with two, iron, uh, two pieces of redstone. And that will make you your augments. So now, we do this. I just need to grab an emerald which is back at the house, in the chest, and I can put all of this together, grab a little bit of dirt, and we can make a nice little area for our pigs. The emerald was down here, unless I have two. Do I have two? I have two emeralds, that's good, in case I need to um, trade with the villagers, but none of them really have good trades. I mean... An emerald for four pieces of bread is okay, I guess? Wait, no, it needs to go on this one. There we go, with silky. So now, 
if I go out and I grab some of this dirt, like that, yes, I can actually grab a dirt and grass blocks, grass blocks, not dirt, I can always grab dirt, but I need to make, I need grass blocks, so I need to make a 5x5, five a 5x5 five? A five five would be good, so that will mean I need 25 blocks. And then I will just need to light it up. Let me check F7. There we go. And we'll get this little bit. And that should be it. Yeah, there we go. So there's no... There's no way mobs are going to get in. Or spawn in. And while we run back, and while we run back this way, sorry about that. Um, while we run back this way, we can actually get our last pieces of dark steel. For some reason, when I get over here, this is just my lag area. I think it's because this is still going. Are you still going? Yeah, you just need water. You need constant water. I need to make fluid conduits. Yeah, let's see if I can make a fluid conduit real quick. I think it's a fluid conduit. 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 Let's see. Is there fluid conduits? And energy indoor conduits? Enhance? No, there's... Yeah, there is fluid conduits. It's just around three glass. Okay. So, let's get up a little bit of this dirt. We'll make... Since that's going to be the house, let's just grab a little bit of this. We're just going to make a little bit. Just because we do not need to... Ah, I can't even English. What is wrong with me? Can't even English anymore. It's, this is so, so weird of me. I just need to make fluid conduits, so that way I can actually put water going from the water source up to the, um, the dynamo. The dynamo, there we go. Into the dynamo, and then I don't have to worry about keep putting buckets of water. <gasps> Guys, look at me now. I am the dark one. I am the knight. I am Sable Wolf. <laughs> Alright, back to work. Back to work, everybody. You. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Quit slacking off. We've got work to do. And I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make this area less laggy. Just because it's getting a little bit much. And I can't tell if it's stopping my recordings. Okay, it's not. It's not stopping my recordings, which is good because I don't need... What did I hit? I hit three. Why did I do that? So, let's see. Can I... How do I get it into... How do I do this? Because I need to be able to make something that pulls it up from a, con a renewable water source, an endless water source, an endless water supply. And to do that, I'm going to need some way of doing that. Let's see, what does with fluid? Fluid. Fluid. Fluid transposer. Shoot for details. Yeah, there we go, that'll work. I need glass, basic machine frame. I'm gonna need a lot more iron. I'm gonna need a lot of iron. I'm gonna need to go dump this stuff off it. But, for now, let's, let's break this down first. For now, so that's not in the way. And hopefully that this one actually went through. Let's put the dirt down. Let's put the dirt down. And 
this should make it so we get mobs. Hmm. This should make it so we get mobs spawning. Uh, not bad mobs. Anywho, I think we got a lot done today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. But hit it gently, please. Because, you know, it, it, it's a little sensitive and you don't want to, you don't want to bully it. It's not nice. Bullying's not nice. Anywho, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. Any advice, any tips would be very much appreciated since I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just going off the top of my head. But that's alright, because that's how a lot of people did Minecraft. And, anywho, I hope you all are safe, Keep, drink plenty of water, plenty of fluids, stay out of too hot temperatures, you don't want to get a heat stroke, and yeah, just be safe in general, guys. So, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!